Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, and welcome to this very, 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 very special master class that we're doing right now on how to close the deal. And for the first time in so many months, we are opening up this master closer playbook because of one reason, one reason only. A number of folks that I'm speaking with, they're like, Shay, I'm, I'm really struggling right now with one thing and one thing only. And I said, what's that? They said, closing the deal. Uh, I'm able to get in front of people, and that's cool. Um, I'm, I'm able to have a conversation, very, Shay, and very that's cool. Special. I'm able Master to class share that we're doing how right now I'm helping on folks, how and that's cool. Really but you know right what? Now I'm not one really thing able one thing to only. And I said, what's that? They said, get the deal, the deal done. Uh, I'm able and to get in front of people. someone out there that's listening right uh, now. I'm able like, to yep, get, Shay, that's me. I'm, I'm at a place right now where if nothing else, Shay, I just need to know how to close the deal. Um, I need to know how to do it so I don't come across as being a sleazy, arm twisting, manipulative type of person. And once I do that, once you open that up to me, once I understand that playbook, then guess what I'm able to do? I'm able to close more deals with less effort. I'm able to serve more people. I'm able to have more impact. I'm able to make a greater difference in the world. But more importantly, above all, Shay, above all, do you know what I'm able to do? I'm able to really walk in my purpose and walk in my passion. And I was born to serve people. And you think about it, what, what good does it do for you to be able to talk to people, um, um, tell them how you solve a problem, and the world isn't any better off today than they were yesterday? And I said, you know what? You're not alone. There are a number of folks every day who are struggling with just the one area, and that is getting the deal closed. So on this on this part two that we're going to get into right now, on this part two, I'm really going to really focus and I'm, I'm going to put a lot of energy and focus a lot of effort in one area. And that is step by step how to close and to use closing techniques. And so as many of you are, are joining on right now, you're saying, yep, Shay, Nicole saying, yep, this is exactly what I need. This is part two. Daryl Mack, I see you. Robin, I see you. So many folks out there. So I'm going to jump right into this master class. And this is part two. It's important to know this is part two. I'm going to take maybe a, a couple of minutes and, and do a uh, review of part one for those folks that have just caught on. Uh, do me a favor. Um, if you just showed up and you're here, this is one of those conversations that's all about chin ching, chin ching, chin ching. We believe at the Happy Entrepreneur Network that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So I'm going to be talking about results in your bank account. If that's you, do me a favor before we get started. Just hit the share button real quick. Hit the share button. And then once you hit the share button or you hit the watch party button, just put it's time to serve others. Just put it's time to serve others. Just put it's time to serve others because selling equals service. So we're going to service and then we're going to sell. We're going to service and then we're going to sell. We're going to do what? Service and then we're going to sell. Okay, I'm going to jump into it, but I want you to hit the share button, hit the watch party, please pay this message for it. And as you hear something that works for you, make a comment below. Do that for me, please. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you the two outcomes I have for our time today, because I really have two outcomes. My number one outcome is to provide value. Did you walk away with one closing system that you can use in your business immediately that's going to help you on your very next conversation. And this is my number one promise to you. And I promise if you're hanging there for just a few minutes, I promise when you walk away, you will have one idea that you can use. You can use immediately. And that's my number one outcome. My, my number two outcome, my number two outcome is to provide double the value that you anticipated. <laughs> It's to provide W the value that you participated. Okay, okay, I, I know, I know, I know. But let me give you one principle that I believe, and I want you to jot this in your notes because you're here. The fact that you're here says you're a winner. So I want to acknowledge you for being a champion. I want to acknowledge you for knowing that you have the potential inside of you to perform at a higher level than whatever level you're performing at right now. And I want this to be one of our guiding principles. Anyone that knows me knows that I believe that systems be goals every single time. And so I want you to jot this in your notes. This is just one idea that selling will solve any business problem. So as you're watching right now and you tell yourself, you know what, Shay, I've got to pick it up, Shay. I've, I've really got to pick it up. Um, I, I need to hire more people in my business. Well, you know what? Selling will solve any business problem. You know what, Shay? I'm tired of my nine to five. It's, it, I want to I leave. 
my nine to five. And I want to I want to really go to a whole nother level share. I want to do that. Well, you know what? Selling will solve any business problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I need to improve my marketing. I need to improve my technology. I need to do more Facebook ads. Selling will solve any business problem. So the reason I want you to pay attention, the reason I wanted to do this quick recap is I want you to have one theme as we go through this, that any problem you have in your business right now, you need to upgrade your equipment, you need to upgrade your laptop, you need to take a trip, you need to hire a coach, you need to hire a consulting firm, you need to go to another webinar, another seminar, you need to get on a plane. Here's what I want you to say. Every single time you ask yourself, you got to do something in your business, I want you to say this over and over again. Selling will solve any business problem because of one reason. And that is this one reason alone. I want you to jot this in your notes. If selling will solve any business problem, then what am I doing in my business all day? We're going to talk about closing and closing for the deal today, not just closing, but closing for the deal. But I want you to jot this in your notes and have this in your notes, please. All roads in business, all your marketing, all of your Facebook ads, all of your social media, all of your networking, all of your training, you listening in right now for those who are on the podcast, you listening in right now for those on Apple TV, you listening right now if you're on Roku or Amazon Fire or if you're on social media, maybe you're on Facebook or LinkedIn and you're tuned in, all roads in business lead to a professional sales presentation. And now that you're aware of that, now that we're just doing a quick recap, let me quickly walk through what we talked about last time. And this is very important. We talked about the three E's just of closing. This is before I get to the good stuff. This is part one. And we talked about the three E's. We kind of shared that number one, for those folks that are watching, that people hear when you're talking in a conversation, some folks are visual. And so they, they see and hear through their eyes. And so we've got to be able to talk to them in verbiage that speaks to the visual person. That's how their brain is, is t wired in. So there are a couple of things we said. Can't go over it now. You can get part one, but I just want to do a quick recap. We said eyes help the person see the possibilities. Eyes help to see the possibilities of what's to come up. So, and, and I broke it down. Let's listen short to him. I broke it down in the time I have. I broke it down. I said, here's some language examples. Let me... Um, it appears that you have a problem in your business that you need more revenue. Well, you know what? Sales will solve any business problem. We talked about that earlier. Uh, look at what I'm about to tell you, because when you watch what we've done, you'll be able to see blank. So eyes really, at the end, of, this is just a recap, but eyes at the end of the day helps the person see the possibility. And I want you to think about through your presentation, if you are a visual person, now, Gina Brown said, I'm a visual person. If you're a visual person, you can put that right below. I'm a visual person. So we got to speak in her language. So we may use I phrases. Now, I'm going to get into techniques. I'm just doing a recap from last week. Look at this. Look at what I'm showing you right now. I'm showing you something that's going to help you be a better closer because when you know your signature selling style and you're speaking to the right buyer profile and you know that they're a visual buyer profile, you can say, visualize this idea. Focus on what I'm about to tell you. Watch what I'm about to show you right now because this will help you in your business right now. Now, other folks, they're auditor. I get that. And, and they got to hear. If that's you, say, I'm an auditor. And ears, tell them what others have said about your product or service. So they've got to hear it. And you got to use the right language when you're speaking to them. Sounds like this is something that you've heard before. Sounds like you need to make more sales. Sounds like you need to build a sales team. Sounds like you need to do more marketing. Sounds like you need to hire more people. See, see, I'm using just one word, but I'm using the language and I'm telling them and they're hearing my voice like some of you right now. But they're also ear phrases. Now, I'm just going over this real quick. This is a recap. I can't wait to get into closing, objection handling, storytelling today. I can't wait. But, 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 but ear phrases um, sounds good. Let's talk about what I just said. Let me tell you something that's very, very important. May I echo back what you just mentioned to me? And then others, others out there, they're, they're, they're emotional. Some people got to see you, so they're visual. Some people got to hear you, the auditor. And some people are very emotional. The emotions have to be involved. And this is very important. Just a recap, just a recap. Emotions give them something to touch 
or manipulate. Very, 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 very important. And so balance, exhale. Maybe right now you're feeling like you're overworked. You're, 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 there's, you're, 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 you're at the point where you need to make a change in your business. You may have showed up just for this particular master class because something has to change in your business. The revenue has to change. You have to work less hour. You have to build a team. See, see, something has to what? Change. You're at that point. You're at that point. And I'm using the word point. I'm using the word point. Let's just keep going because I don't want to get too far behind. Um, emotional phrases. I get a feel for. May I point out? The person may say something like, it worries me. Now, now you're listening for phrases. And then last on part one, we, we talked about this selling equals service. Selling equals service. You're not going to try to convince anybody. You're going to serve them first. And then when you serve them, you make a difference. You serve them first and then you make a difference. See, the one thing I know about revenue is it shows up in your service. That's right. That's right. Revenue shows up right now in your service. So if your bank account today doesn't reflect how good you are, then it's, it's, it's possible that as you're trying to serve, as you're trying to communicate, and you understand that selling solves any problems, if your bank account doesn't reflect how good you are, then you need to pay attention. If you are a business owner and some part of your revenue is tied to a sale being made, then, then, then you need to really pay attention. Because selling shows up in service. We know that for a fact. See, Selling, just to recap, we're just doing a quick recap from last week, from part one, from part one, for those that missed it. Selling is just a process by which we exchange value for value. So if you're not selling, you're not serving. Let me say that again. Someone hit the share button. Someone hit the share button. Someone hit the watch party button right now. And we hit that watch party button. When you hit that share button, I want you to write these words service first and add value. Just put service first and add value. That's what we're talking about today. That's what this conversation is going to be about. I'm going to teach you some closing techniques, but okay. Okay. Let me just tell you a quick story. Let me, let me just tell you a quick story. Cause this story I think is going to help really drive home the point before we get into the cool part, drive home the point that, that selling at the end of the day really equals service. And, and selling shows up in your revenue on a daily basis. It's going to, it's going to support that. So, um, my sons are grown, but there was a time where they would want to borrow the car. And if you have any children, if you have nieces or nephews or someone that, that drives your car, they take the car and they drive it and they enjoy driving the car. But here's the challenge. Selling is like driving a car. See, when you serve and some of you do this without selling, it's like bringing the car back with no gas, right? <laughs> That's what it's like. So, so you're out there selling, you have to service it, and you're doing the best you can, but you never offer a selling component to it. So you're doing it for free, which is no problems, but it's like driving the car. My son drives the car, he brings the car home back. And guess what? There is no gas in the car, but here's the point. Here's the distinction. Take a picture of this slide. Someone write this right below the notes. Look right below the notes. Look right below the notes. If you're fortunate to watch this on, on social media, or even if you're on a podcast, make a note. Put this down right now. Cars run on gas. Business runs on revenue. Let me say that again. Cars run on gas. Business runs on revenue. Let me say that one more time. This is very important because your business, in order for it to run, in order for it to keep on going, it needs gas. And that gas is what? It is revenue. And that revenue comes from serving. So cars run on gas. Business, let me say it again. Hear me, hear me. Business runs on what? Revenue. So when you bring your car back on empty, someone has to fill it up. Someone has to get it going again. Someone has to make it happened. Here's what I know. And you might argue with me. And I know the marketing folks are going to say, Shay, stop that. Stop that. You're always saying this. But no, it is so true. Marketing is sexy. And it really is. But selling at the end of the day is how you serve. Marketing is sexy, but selling is service. 
So, so branding will help your business and you need to invest heavily in branding. I'm going to suggest that. I'm going to suggest that as much as I can. Branding will help your business. I, I believe that, that, that marketing will help your business without a question. There is no question there. There is no question. But here's the point that I want you to know. Sales keeps your keeps you in business. Sales keeps you in business. So marketing helps your business. Branding helps your business. But sales keeps you in business. Without sales, you're not going to be in business. Hear me, hear me. This is just a recap from last week. A recap from last week. Without sales, you will always have more going out than you have coming in. Why? Because selling is serious business. Let me say that again because I had a conversation with someone and they were complaining about how much money they've already invested, not only in coaching, but consulting, not only that, but in seminars. And they shared with me and they spent over $18,000 last year, which to some people that's a lot of money for others. It's not. It doesn't really matter. But but here's what I share with that person. I said, look, if you're not focused on your sales, you're going to always have more money going out than coming in. And until you slow down to speed up, someone write that down in your notes, slow down to speed up. There will always be more money going out. And I mentioned at the very beginning of this masterclass, and I'm doing it every single one, is that selling will solve any business problem. You need to solve a problem in your business. You need to hire the right resources, generate more revenue. You're, 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 at, a, you're at a place right now where, where you, need to, you need to really step up and you need to do something different right now, and, and you need to run Facebook ads, make sales. Um, um, cars run on gas, business runs on revenue. I can't stress that enough. And so it's very hard for your company to run when there is no revenue coming in, and it puts you in a, in a very difficult situation. So let me go ahead and get into what I'm gonna talk about today. And I'm gonna talk about how to close. I'm gonna talk about the trial close, the summary close, the, I think an objection handling close. I'm gonna talk about a bunch of techniques. And I'm gonna do that, because this is part two. Part, part one was all about just closing and what we need to do. And, and then part two kind of gets to why people don't buy from you. And it's really about how we communicate and jot this down in your notes. What's up, Greta Thomas? What's up, Lawrence Hood? What's up, Angela Wynn? Darius, thanks for joining. Gina Brown, all the notes are appreciative. Shanna Griffin, thank you. And all of you who are watching right now. But here's what I want you to know. Put this in your notes. Your words will make you rich. That's right. Your words will make you rich. I said I'm getting ahead of myself, but don't worry about that. Let me give you the 4S formula. And, and this is your formula for success. This is the formula, Ursula, to take you to the next level. And it's what I believe, it's what I teach. And I'm gonna take about two minutes and walk you through this. And for those folks that are hearing it for the first time, welcome to part two. This is a three part series, Master Closer Playbook. But this is part two. We went over review just now of part one. Now I'm going into part two. Part two, we're gonna start off with the 4S formula. <coughs> And here's something I want everyone to jot down in your notes. This is something that, that drives me. What's up, Trinette? This is something that drives me every single day. And put this in your notes. Systems beat goals every time. Put that down in your notes. Systems beat goals every single time. We're talking about closing systems. We're talking about business systems. We're talking about lead generation systems. We're talking about human resource systems. At the end of the day, business is just a collection of systems that come together and they run in harmony for you to do the things you need to do. Now, you have systems in your personal life. You have systems in your health. You have systems in your finances. You have, you have systems in your relationships. You, you, you have systems in your, in your faith walk. Everything is driven on a system. And I believe that no matter what the goal is, if we don't have a system in place, that is repeatable, a system that's duplicatable, a, a system that allows us to hand it off to someone else so they can do the work. I don't want to get to systems, not a conversation on systems. Let's, let's move on. But I, 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 I get so caught up on that. Let me give you the 4S formula. If you're hearing it for the first time, jot this down in your notes. This is what has driven our company for the last 15 years. It's what we teach our clients. Is what I've shared over and over and over again because systems be goals every time. Someone do me a favor. Hit the, hit the watch party button. Hit the, hit the share button. Please pay this message forward to another entrepreneur. Please, when you hit that watch party button or you hit that share button, write these words, systems beat goals every time. I was working with someone recently and they were struggling and they said, Shay, 
I'm having a challenge. I said, what system do we need to work on? They said, I don't know. Let's start with lead generation systems because that person didn't have a closing problem. They weren't bringing enough qualified people who could even afford their products and services, or if they could afford it, they weren't ready to make a decision today. And so they didn't have a closing problem. They had a lead generation problem and there was a sales sequence. That's a system that was in place that wasn't really putting the people in the right channels. So I had good news for them. But let me give you the formula because this, this might be all you need. You might not have a closing problem. You might be a person out there saying, Shay, I don't have a closing problem. Give me the four S's. But I do believe, Shay, that systems be goals every single time. If that's you, you look right below the video and you write those words. Systems. You think about McDonald's. McDonald's is driven on an entire system. Ray Kroc finds McDonald's. They have a hamburger. They have french fries. Out there in California, there's already there. Coca-Cola had already existed. He said, I have a system. If we can duplicate that system across the world, we can build a number one franchise, which they did, at least of my generation. And then another person came along during my generation. That company is called Uber. And I don't have time to get into that because this is not about systems be goals every single time. But Uber said somebody wants to go from point A to point B. And we had horses taking them there. We have cars taking them there. We had carriages taking them there. What if they could just go to their phone and just dial someone in, a system, and, and the car comes to them, system, and we can track where they're going, system, and they can pay without exchanging cash, systems. See, everything runs on a system. So systems be goals every single time. We got to move on. I'm getting carried away. All right, the 4S formula. Let me give you the 4S formula right now. Let me hand it to you right now. Here it is. Systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Now, I'm going to move fast because we're about to get into the closing summary, the objection handling summary, the trials closed. I'm about to give you some techniques, but let me give this to you because this, this is the underpinning of our philosophy at Happy Entrepreneur Network. This is very, very important. Systems plus strategy plus sales equals successful CEO. So, Shay, the question is, what, is, what are systems? Systems are duplicatable. Systems are repeatable. Systems are the fastest way to repeat success. Systems solve problems. More importantly, systems is something that you can hand over to someone else so they can do the work without your labor there. Here's the question I want you to ask. What is your closing system that you have in place today that when someone is ready to make a buying decision, there's a systematic way that you actually transition from having a conversation, you transition to how you can solve, and you transition into here are the next steps. What is your closing system? If you don't have one, I'm you're at the right place at the right time, and I'm glad someone forwarded this message to you. I'm glad someone sent you this text message. I'm glad you showed up and you're in the tribe. Welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. I'm excited. I get excited about this. Talking to someone that said, man, I get geeked out over this. I love sharing how to close deals. Okay. Let me, let me move to the next one. What is a strategy? So systems, which you have to in place, plus a strategy. A strategy is a clear roadmap, okay? It consists of guiding principles. Our roadmap that we use is the Evergreen Revenue Model. And I don't have time to get into that, not in this episode, but the Evergreen, Evergreen Revenue Model is how do you do something one time and your labor is no longer involved? I'll say it again. How do you do something one time and your labor is no longer involved? So now you got systems, got it, Shay. Now you got a strategy, got it, Shay. Now, Shay, if you said, understand that, you said, what is a strategy, then what is sales? Come on, Shay, give it to me real quick. Sales just really provides you the revenue to purchase the resources necessary to execute the vision for yourself, the vision for your loved ones, and the vision for the people you were called to serve. Because at the end of the day, you have a vision. And imagine if you're Noah. And Noah's in the Bible. I'm a believer, okay? And it might not be your thing. It's okay. And, and Noah's in the Bible. And, and Noah has this gift that's given to him by God. He has the experience. That's you. He has the expertise. That's you. He has the right purpose and passion. That's you. And you have the energy. That's you. But imagine if Noah was sitting there and there was no hammer. That's no resources. Imagine if there was no nail. That's no resources. Imagine for a moment there was no wood. That's no resources. Guess what happens? Nothing gets done. So some of you right now, really the missing piece, the missing link that you need in your business is you need to have more sales in your business. So then what is a successful CEO, Shay? I mean, you, you talked about sales systems plus sale strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Then what is a successful CEO? Give me the definition so we can all at least be on the same page. A successful CEO is a person with more cash flow. Does that sound good to you? More money coming in. Uh, more profits. That means they spend less than they make. Does that sound like you? 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. They have more freedom to spend time with the ones they love the most and to do what they want to do when they want to do it. Does that sound like you? If that's you, you showed up at the right place at the right time. Here's the affirmation I want you to put. Everyone jot this down. Someone write this right below the video for me. This is just the affirmation. We're on part two. We're about to get to the good stuff in about one minute, but we're, we're, this is all good stuff. <laughs> it has to be good stuff because we wouldn't do it if it wasn't good stuff. But here's an affirmation because here's what I want you to know. You can be a happy entrepreneur. And that's me. That's the brand. I love the happy entrepreneur, but I can be happy and broke. Come on, somebody. Holla if you hear your boy. I can be happy and have no customers. Come on, somebody. Holla at your boy. I, I can be happy and walking on my purpose and my passion, but I don't have no resources. Come on. If you're here, if you know what I'm saying, just look right below the video and just put, I hear you, Shay. Just put, I hear you. I just put this some good stuff. I put, Shay, you're, 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 you're right there, Shay. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Just, 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 just do that for me if you would. But here's what I want you to know. When you decided to become a successful CEO, when you made that decision, I made that transition myself, then I said, I'm going to have more cash flow. That means I'm going to have money coming in. I'm going to have more profits. I'm going to have spend less than I make. And I'm going to have the freedom to do the things that I want to do when I want to do them with whom I want to do them to. So now I have a daily affirmation. I've been telling myself over and over and over again that I am a successful CEO. But I had to ask the question, why? And the reason why is that I have systems in place. Systems be goals every single time. Someone do me a favor. If you, that's your affirmation. I hear you out there, Angela. I see you, Jacqueline. And, and you're like, you know what? I feel this. Then, then hit the share button or hit the watch party button and put systems be goals every time. I am a successful CEO. Now, I don't mind you being a grindpreneur. I don't mind you being a faithpreneur or mompreneur or happypreneur or, or someone that's working hard or a small business owner or woman business owner. I have no problem with you being any of those things. You can still be on your grind. You can be on your hustle. You can be in beast mode. I love all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I signed up to run an enterprise, a business on one principle and one principle only, and that is I am a successful CEO. So I had to define what a successful CEO is, and I had to understand in order to do that that I needed systems because systems be goals every single time. Holla at your boy if you hear me. Now, with that being said, these are just principles that we believe in. It's principles that we stand on. Because principles are ways of successfully dealing with reality until you get what you want. And so if you follow that principle, the systems be goals every single time, then you have something you can do every single day. You have something that's duplicatable. You have something that you can repeat. Now, with that being said, and with the recap and with the introduction, it's now part two again, part two remix. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. <laughs> I love this stuff. The master closer playbook. And many of you are here right now because you want to help. You want to serve. You want to make a greater difference in the world. And I want you to ask yourself this question. Imagine how your life would be different if you had all the resources you need right now to execute the vision you have for yourself, how you want to live, the vision you have for your loved ones. And I'm blessed to have mother dear. I was able to pick her up yesterday from therapy. I'm able to write the check, able to take her grocery shopping, able to go order what she wants off Amazon. God has really blessed me to have mother dear here for me. She might be watching right now, but many of you, you want to do something for someone you love. You want to write a check for their health care insurance. You want to send your kids to a school of your choice. And I want you to imagine that when you learn these skills and, and you step up and you raise your game, and you embrace that selling will solve any business problem. And you embrace that selling equals service. I want you to imagine for a moment how your life will be different. And, and think about the resources that you would want right now. In fact, on a piece of paper right now, on a piece of paper, what's up, Mary Washington? Thanks for joining. Hey, what's going on, Nicole Brown? Christine, I see you. Thank you all. Hey, Bob, what's happening, my man? We just talked yesterday. Same conversation, man. Just everyone's eavesdropping on us, right? <laughs> So cool. Um, but but if, if you're out there right now, I want you to imagine in your notes that you had an extra for some of you ten thousand dollars a month coming in because you you improve this one system, the closing system in your business. There's extra ten thousand. Some of you twenty thousand dollars. Some of you this is train a trainer and you run a team and your team could generate an extra hundred thousand dollars or more a month. Over and beyond whatever you're earning today, how would your life be different? What would you do with the money? 
And I want you to take a moment before I go into the master closer playbook because I'm going to put the pedal to the metal. I'm going to go full steam ahead. And I want you, want you right now, right now to write down what would you do with the money? Maybe you pay off your mortgage. Maybe you send your kids to a school of your choice. Maybe as you're listening to me right now, you're like, Shay, if I could just do this right here, life would be good for me. What would you do with an extra 10, 20, and some of you forty, fifty thousand dollars or more every single month, month over month over month? The money is rolling to your bank account. Write down one thing right now. Listen, I'm gonna take 10 seconds. Write down one thing right now. This is the master closer. No, no. Write down two things. Some of you, some of you right now, before I get started, you're writing down three things. Now you already agreed that the systems beat goals every single time. And you've already bought into that. So now we're going to talk about the system that you can use in your business right now that's going to help you from a closing perspective. And I'm excited to bring that to you. And then some of you already embraced the 4S formula. Some of you have already said, you know what, Jay? I agree with you. Systems plus a strategy plus the resources that sales equals a successful CEO. And some of you, as you were listening earlier on, we did the recap, you understand what a system is. It's duplicatable. You understand the evergreen revenue model. That's your strategy. You, you understand what sales is. That's the only way you get resources in your business because without sales, there are no resources for you to purchase. And if some of you made the decoration when you said you're a successful CEO, it's time for more cash flow. It's time for more profits. It's time for more freedom. It's time to do the things you want to do with the people you love the most. Some of you agree with me. You were right there. And then others made that daily affirmation. I am a successful CEO. I am a successful CEO. And you're saying that. And you know what? I'm looking forward to seeing you and working with you on the other side. If that's you right now, just before I even get started, like Shay, this is great. I'm feeling you. I'm smelling what you're cooking in the kitchen. I'm all in. And you just want to get the notes. You want your, uh oh, that's not the right screen. You want to get your, your own closing notes. And you want to, you want to have your own closed script. You want to know the script that I'm about to go over a bunch of scripts in a minute but you want these word for word and you want to know exactly what they are, here's what I'm going to suggest you do. If we go into the master closer playbook, I'm going to suggest you text the word close script. Just do that right now. There's, there's no cost to that. Um, text, like open up a browser now and type in 202 and, and you'll get the replay. Don't worry about that. 202-270-1662. I'm going to go rapid fire and I want you to text the word close script. Now, when you text the word closed script, um, I'm going to send you my closed script playbook, the ultimate closing script. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you how to close, but I'm going to send it to you. I'm also going to send you the notes. And then some of you, you want a one-on-one -on -one close audit session. That means you want someone to take a look at your closing script or what you say and understand what the pre-close is in your industry, what the close is, and then what the final, final close is. So it's three phases of a close. There's the pre-close, there's the close and then there's the final final close and you want to know what that is at least in your industry go ahead text 202-270-1662 text your first name after you write close script text your last name i'm requiring that your mobile number and your best email and then we're going to send that directly to you that's my gift there's no cost no charge no catch but for some of you this is the missing piece and you're like you know what shay yeah that makes a lot of sense. This is my time. This is my year. I'm ready for a breakthrough. And I agree, systems be goals every single time. And it's time for me to look at my system. And in some cases, upgrade my system just to go to the next level, no cost. So go ahead and do it now because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. And how many ideas do you need to change your life? How many ideas do you need to change your life? One. One good idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. And for many of you, I'm looking forward to connecting with you. I'm looking forward to getting you the notes. I'm looking forward to getting you everything that you need. As we go into the master closer playbook, I want you to know this, that if a sale doesn't begin with a question, just put this in your notes, it won't end with a close. Because questions steer focus. And powerful people ask powerful questions questions. One of the things I want you to start focusing on, and this is a, a concept or idea if you've been to my closing mastery playbook, 
if you've been behind the scenes with me, if you had one-on-ones with me and we're talking about truly closing the deal after you established value and after you brought the benefits to life and after you qualified them and, and after you've done all these meetings and so forth and it's time to close and you don't want anything to change in your voice rate, you don't want nothing to change in your tonality. And if you've ever been sold by someone and they popped in and they started selling you, you knew they were selling you and it got on your everlasting nerve, it's because they weren't following the system. And so I want you to put this in your notes. Sell on the tangibles close on the intent. Just put that there. Don't worry, I'm going to get into different type of closing techniques and all that good stuff in a moment. I, I'm going to do that. But I, but I want you to put that down in your notes. Sell on the tangibles. Put that in your notes. Sell on the tangibles. Oh, man, I, I, put, I put the wrong one in here. Sheesh. Okay, one second, everyone. I think I've, I got the wrong one here, so I got to change this real quick. Um, sell on the tangibles. Yeah, I got the wrong one. They got the wrong one. Okay. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> we're, not, we're not perfect, by the way. Um, we're getting better today. So go ahead and just go ahead and show them that. Sell on the tangibles, close on the intangibles. Put that in your notes. Sell on the tangibles. Now, what are tangible? There are a couple things. There's tangible benefits, and then there's intangible benefits. Put this in your notes right now while you're doing it. Tangible benefits are things they can touch, things they can see, things they can put their hands on. So for some of you right now, there are tangible benefits. For example, a tangible benefit means if I'm selling how to make more sales, when you make more sales, you'll have more money in your bank account. That is a tangible benefit. Another tangible benefit is when you go to your bank account, you'll see more money in there. That is a tangible benefit. And then there are intangibles. Now, intangibles are the things they can't touch. They can't feel, they don't see those, but we know that they exist every single day. So intangible benefits might be things like, um, okay, I'll make it like this. When I sold sales training, I thought everybody wanted to make more money. When they make more money, that's tangible. And then after I learned that it wasn't just about the money, uh -oh, close this, uh -oh, I hit the wrong one. Do, 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 do. Hold up, let me do this, sorry about that, I lost it. Um, when I found out they didn't just want to make more money, I said, well, when they, improve their selling skills, like you, when you improve your closing skills, what happens for you? Well, you have greater confidence. You have greater self-esteem. For some of you, when I go through this, and I show you these closing techniques, you're gonna go after larger accounts. And just the fact that you decide to go after larger accounts means that those are intangible benefits. You can't feel that, you can't touch that. For some of you, once you learn how to really use your closing script, and it's word for word, it doesn't mean that you gotta memorize it every single time, but it means that when you get on to a conversation with a client and you're there, you're no longer just worried about what the client's going to say. There we go. You're no longer worried about what the client's going to say. You are focused on reconnecting with your story. There we go. Okay. There we go. They had to show the wrong one up. So those, that's what we mean when we say close the tangible and intangible benefits. Here's what I want you to know before I get into the very specific techniques and put this down in your notes. This is very, very important. And here it is. There's something called buyer's fingerprint. And this is why I want you to ask the powerful questions. We all have our own unique way of buying. And so when Mother Deer goes to the store and she wants to buy something, Mother Deer is going to buy one way. When I go to the store, I might buy an entirely different way. So because we all have our own way of buying, it's called buyer's fingerprint. And when you're talking to someone, you have to determine what are their buyer's fingerprint. How do they buy? So for example, mother dear goes to buy a car. She's going to take the car off the lot. She's going to take the car home. She's going to bring it back. She's going to haggle down to the last penny that she can possibly haggle down. And she should. That's mother dear. When I go, all I want to do is get the best deal possible in the shortest amount of time. So I'm going to get in and out. Doesn't mean I get robbed, but I'm not going around five different dealerships. Okay. I would do my little research. I'm in and I'm out. And so when you're talking to people, and we talked about that earlier, they all have their own unique buyer's fingerprint. Now, when you think about that, you've got to think about what's one of the most powerful questions that you could ask. So if you and I were having a conversation right now and I was to ask the question, hmm, when you're having a conversation before you get to the close, before you tell them how you work, before you tell them about the contract and all that, what's the number one question you ask? That's a powerful question at the right time in that moment. Let me give you one right now. Go ahead and jot this down in your notes, and then I'm going to get to the closing techniques. What's up, Yvonne Southall? Thanks for joining. Hey, Stephanie Perkins. Um, now, 
Here's the question that you can ask. Jot this down in your notes. What is your greatest need in regards to dot, dot, dot? Put that down in your notes. What is your greatest need in regards to improving your selling skills? What is your greatest need in regards to having a sales team do all the work? Um, before you even get into how to close, what is your greatest need in regards to having a new website built? I, I was having a conversation with my team and um, we have the pleasure of working with a number of clients, um, speakers and authors and coaches and trainers, and we are their sales team. Um, it, we're their virtual sales team because they don't want to run appointments and they're too busy to talk to unqualified people. And they want to make money while they're doing other things. And I respect that. And they've had a challenge building a team and paying people. So they hired us and we have a sales club and we do that for them. And we were talking with a particular client three days ago. And on this call, it's a call for them to be a speaker at universities. And the person may be listening right now. And I'm really pleased. I think we made 197 attempts. And using this one script, we, had, we identified 40 decision makers that we're working on. And, and the challenge they had, and they'd hired another person to do calls for them, and it just didn't work out. I looked at what we were saying, and I said, before we get to the close, we need to ask a question. This person sells relationships. So when you're, for students that go to school, she's a therapist. She teaches them how to have new relationships with their roommate, relationships with their professor, relationships on campus, relationships when they're doing internships. So she teaches them how to deal with relationships, which is like communication skills. But she packages it under the umbrella of relationships. And so I asked this one question. I added this one phrase. And I want you to think about what's the one question you asked when you get to the close. And I said, what is your greatest need in regards to having your students feel comfortable when they're going through different transitions in relationships? Whether it's with a girlfriend, whether it's with a professor, whether it's with a roommate, whether it's with somebody in an organization, whether it's with a parent or, or, or a sibling, what's your greatest need in regards to that? And you know, that opened up the entire floodgates. And this is not gonna, you're not gonna jump up and down and shout and run around and all that. Say, hey, that's great, that's great. But I, but I want you to know that once you get this, once this gets into your DNA, then you will understand that this is a missing piece that prior to you showing up right now in this masterclass, you weren't focused on asking a question that was centered around identifying their buyer's fingerprint, which is how they buy what's most important to them. And then secondly, understanding that we're selling the tangibles. What can they touch? What can they feel? But we're closing on what they can't touch, what they can't feel. And for this particular person, one thing they can't touch, what they couldn't feel is they couldn't feel that the students feel good about themselves. The students are, are more focused during class because their mind isn't somewhere else. The students have more energy when they're doing the things they want to do. So, so what is your greatest need in regards to dot, dot, dot? Someone add that, add that to what you already have in your collection of things now, because we're in part two, we're in part two, we're getting to the good stuff. So now we, we've kind of talked about questions. I'm gonna get into the summary close now, gotcha. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna get into questions, but let me just do a, a 30 second recap. If a sale does not begin with a question, it won't end with a close. Powerful people ask powerful questions because questions they're focus. And we're focusing the conversation on the person. We're not manipulating them. We're using a system because systems be goals every single time. Got it, Shay. Got it. Okay. We're selling the intangible. So I'm always talking about what they can touch, what they can feel. You can touch this this broadcast right now. You can touch the notes. For those folks that, that text in earlier, you can get the ultimate closing script and the words and stuff we're using. You can, you can get that. You can touch that. But then we're selling the intangibles. You have more confidence. You have more freedom. You spend time with your loved ones. You've got a system that someone else can duplicate. It feels so good and your mind is so relieved. Talk to one person this morning, depending on what time you're watching this, by the way, but it was 10 a.m. and we had a conversation. And I said, what's the number one reason why you decided to work with our sales team? Why are you allowing us to do this? Because, and I went on some tangent. And you know what she said? Jot this in your notes. This might be an intangible benefit. Some of you guys need to know your, your benefits. If you don't know your benefits, I'm going to help you with that. But she said, Shay, peace of mind. I thought about that for a moment. I said, wait a minute. We are generating your leads as a, as a company. We are 
making the phone calls, we're sending the text messages, we're sending the emails, we're setting the appointments, we're running the appointments, we're asking for credit cards. If all the things we're doing, and you got a session with me, what's up? I was so pumped. I'm psyched. You know what she said? Peace of mind. That's an intangible benefit. I can't put my hands on her feeling that way. And I want you to think, imagine if during my conversations and we added that as we were identifying buyers' fingerprints and that's everyone buys differently. Everyone has their own concept. And I stepped back and I started asking the question, what is your true need in regards to having a sales team? And then I wrapped into that and said, some of our clients enjoy just having peace of mind, knowing they don't have to be the person doing it. They can do it, but that's not what their gift is. That's not what their talent is. That's not where they want to spend their time, their energy, and their resources. And I threw out peace of mind. And I just shared that story. That may connect with some of you out there right now. Some of you are just looking for peace of mind. And, and don't, don't worry, I'm going to give you that because we're going to go over the summary close. I'm going over summary close. I think the objection close. I think I got three of these to go over. And then this will conclude part two. But some of you, as you're listening, you're like, you know what, Shane? This is resonating with me. It's time for me to get my system. It's time for me to understand my own closing script. It's time for me to understand some of the, the best ideas. And even if you've been in business for 100 years, right, times are changing. The training changes. People are changing. The systems are changing. How we communicate changes. So you should always be in this conversation. You should always be reviewing what you are doing so you can make it better. Because isn't that what it's about at the end of the day? Yeah. It's not just about you. It's about how you can help your prospect refocus and buy. So I'm going to talk about the summary as one of the closing techniques. It doesn't apply for all of you, but this may apply for you for where you are right now because the summary close, you're going to tell them all the things they're going to receive and it's going to allow you to refocus their energy. And it's going to allow you to refocus them back on the conversation. Now, let me give you an example of that. Before I do, some of you are out there and you're like, Shay, this is great, wrong one. They keep showing my Kobe. You know, I love Kobe. Um, there you go. Some of you out there to say, Shay, I just want to review my closing script. Shay, I want to review my closing process. Shay, I want to understand the three components of a close, the pre-close, the close, and the final, final close. Shay, my team needs to do this. I mean, in fact, I want someone to do it out there for me. Text the word close script right now. Text the word close script right now to 202. This is how you get the notes. 202. 2701662. And when you text the word close script, you're going to put your first name, I'm requiring that. Put your last name, I'm requiring that. Put your mobile number, I'm requiring that. So I can so I can contact you. I'll reach out to you personally myself. I'll make a commitment to reach out. And then include your best email. And yeah, you'll get the closing script book. I get it. That's cool. Yes, you'll get a one-on-one -on -one closed script audit. So we can just hear what's on your heart and where you are. And sometimes it just takes one question. How many ideas do you need to change your life? But my promise to you is after that session, my promise to you is you'll walk away with one idea that you can use immediately because you bought into the idea that systems beat goals every single time. And there's a successful CEO who wants to generate more cash flow. You've got to make more sales. You want to have more profits, spend less than you make. You need to make more sales. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You want to have more freedom to do the things you want with people you love. Then you've got to make more sales and sales will solve any business problem. Text the word close script to 202-270-1662. Get the script book. Get the one-on-one -on -one session so it can be customized for you. And then make sure you include your first name, your last name, your best contact number, and your email. And then we're going to look forward to that one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. So in the summary close, this is when you go back and depending on where you are, let's say you've already walked them through, you believe they're ready to make a buying decision before you ask them to sign the contract, before you ask them to hire you, before you ask them to bring you on as a speaker, before you ask them if they want a, a new website, before you ask them if you can do all their Facebook ads, before you ask them if you can be their financial planner, I want you to remember the summary close. For some of you, this is very important. For others, it's not. That's okay. There's other techniques. But this might be one that you can improve on and you're doing okay, but now that it's top of mind to you, and I'm so glad you're in this masterclass. I, I thank you for being part of this because you're in this conversation. Continuous 
ever going training to improve where you are right now. So you never stop learning. When the question is asked, when do you stop learning? The obvious answer is you never stop learning. You're going to do a summary and you may use words like, let me just summarize what we've talked about and, and, and share a few things that will be included. So if it's me and I'm talking about our sales club, I would say I'm really excited because now you have training this one on one for you and your team. That's important for you. Now you have someone to make all of your set all your appointments for you while you're doing something else. Now you have someone that's qualifying people before you speak to them. Now you have someone that's also doing lead generation and helping you put together your lead generation systems for you. Now there's someone contacting someone before they come to all of your webinars. Now, see, I, I could do a recap. There, there, there's someone that's fought with someone every time they opt in for one of your gifts. There's someone looking for speaking opportunities. And that's a summary close. And, and, I, and I, want you to, I want you to know that because the number one reason is the summary close helps your prospect refocus. And you've said so much. You might have had a 20-minute conversation, a 30-minute conversation. Some of you might have had a 40-minute conversation. And so now you got to refocus them. And the, and the biggest challenge is you get to that and you ask them to do something. And they say, tell me again. Remind me one more time. And you could just avoid that all the way around if we stepped up just on the summary close. So we're going to tell them all the things that they're going to get, that they're going to receive, and we're going to remind them of that one more time. The next technique I want to share with you is the trial close. And this is my favorite, but then again, they're all my favorite. Can I say that? <laughs> they wouldn't be in here. But the trial close allows you to really take the prospect's temperature, to, to get a read on where they are while the conversation is going. Now, now I taught this close to another team of folks and they had someone that, of course, said, Shay, I already know this. I've heard this before. I already know the trial close. Shay, I can tell you what the trial close is. We're going to ask them maybe if they want to do it or not. And I said, well, that's partly true. And the person wasn't being smart, but they wanted to let me know that they already knew. Is there anything new I'm going to tell them right now? Now, if anybody, if you, if you have you ever done training and someone raises a hand and tell you that, you feel like you're like on the spot. And so I, I share with this person this. I said, look, there's a concept called baseline strategy. Jot this down in your notes, baseline strategy. And your baseline is everything you're doing today to produce the results you're producing today on a monthly basis. So let's say with all your closing skills right now, you're closing $10,000 a month of revenue that goes into your bank account. Then your baseline is $10,000 a month. You keep saying what you're saying, you keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to be generating $10,000 a month, give or take a couple of dollars. Baseline strategy says, what is one thing that I can add to what I'm already doing to increase my baseline and thus increase my baseline and go up? So let's say I ask the question, what's one thing you can do to improve your closing skills? Some of you, it's really have a system in place. Some of you is to get better at what you are already saying. Others of you is to know the technique you're using and then be able to optimize that. And optimiz optimization is taking what you're already doing and just doing it better. And that's what we're talking about with the trial close. This is very important because you're going to take the prospects and temperature. But let me just share where a number of folks go wrong. And I think where they, they really missed the boat. And this, this, may not, this may or may not be you, but it's so important. They forget the three best times to trial close. Jot this down in your notes. Three best times to trial close. When you see signs of approval from your prospect. Let me put that in everyday um, language. The person says, I already know you. I follow you or I read all about your company. I did all of my research. I just need to know what the price was. I need to know how it worked. And you've kind of shared that then that might be a time to transition into, let me do a recap. I love doing that, but I'll tell you some other techniques. And let me make sure we're both on the same page for clarity. I love doing that. Let me just check in with you just to make sure that, that I heard you correct. For those that went over the audio, we talked about visual person, an auditor person, and we also talked about, what's the last person? Emotional person. So let me make sure I heard you correctly. Let me, let me say back to you what I heard. The, the, the next best time, so the first 
best time to do a trial close. And that's what we're talking about right now, right? We're, we're talking about the trial close, taking the prospect's temperature, understanding where they are. But now I'm talking about the three best times and I'm talking about language patterns that you can use. The next one is after you state a major benefit. This is a $50,000 idea. Jot this idea in your notes right now. It's been often said that, that people buy you, and I don't think that's the case anymore. They got to like you. They got to trust you. They got to believe in you. But here's the nugget. Here's the golden nugget. Write this in your notes right now. Put this down. Like right now, put this in your notes. And here it is. People buy benefits. People buy benefits. They got to like you. I get it. They got to trust you. Of course. You've got to be able to establish value. A no-brainer. But they buy the benefits you say you're going to deliver that helps them solve a problem. So the minute when you're talking to them and you stated a major benefit, we're going to do, we are the sales team you've been looking for. We're the answer to your headache. We are Tylenol right now. Would you like to take it? I stated a major benefit. If we're going to do all your sales for you and you don't have to do that, that's a pretty freaking huge benefit. And, and, so, and, so, and so I might do a trial close. Does that sound like something you're interested in? What would it mean to you if we could wave a magic wand and someone did all your selling and all you did was service? How would you feel? What would you do with the time that you have? And then the third major one is after you answer an objection. Now, I'm going to get into objection handling techniques. Don't worry about that. I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But the greatest breakthrough for my clients has always come around a major benefit because that was an idea they never had. That's a distinction. And if you want to know what a distinction is, a distinction is a understanding beyond common knowledge. So that means you understand something over and beyond where you are right now. Now, we're going over the trial close. We're sharing something to help raise your baseline. It's an idea or concept you might have known, but it's one that on level scale to one to 10. And I said, how well are you closing? And baseline is everything you're doing today. You said, Shay, I'm a level five. I know I have the potential inside of me, Shay, to perform at a much higher level than whatever I'm performing at right now. Or, or, or Shay, my team, because some of y'all, this is trainer, trainer. Some of you, we are the sales team for you. And others of you, you have your own sales team. My team is at a five. So the question is, what can I do to raise that baseline from a five to a six or a five to a seven? And one of the areas I talked about was doing a what? Doing this summary close so you can help your prospects and refocus and buy. And then I said, no, no, no. What if we tell them all the things they're going to receive? So summary close for some of you, that's what you're adding on. And then, and then for others, it was about the trial close, taking the prospects and temperature while you're going through all the things that you're going through and then what are the three best times so that's the part hmm, sometimes they don't tell you they, they don't they don't tell you that but but here's what i know as i'm listening to you i know for 100 percent certainty that your best is still yet to come i know that this is your year i know this is your time i know you're ready for a breakthrough and if you're listening to the sound of my voice right now write down in your notes right now it's my time and you can look below the video if you want and write, it's my time because this is your time to get your business in order. Something has to change. You have to bring in more revenue so that you can bring in more resources so you can do all the things you want to do to execute your purpose, execute your passion. You are ready to allow your profits to fund your passion. You're ready to allow your profits to fund your purpose holla at me someone look right below the video and this and that's you you're listening because your best days are ahead you're pushing you're giving it everything you got and the only thing holding you back right now because it's your time is you have to be able to go out there and you have to serve more people because you understand from the bottom of your heart that selling equals service and so it's time for you to serve it's time for you to make a difference it's time for you to step up it's time for you to be a successful CEO. And that's one of your daily affirmations that I am a successful CEO because you believe that systems be goals every single time. And I'm walking through a few closing systems for you right now. And if you didn't write that affirmation down earlier, write that affirmation right now. I am a successful CEO because systems be goals 
every single time. And I'm focused on that shit. I'm focused on that shit. I'm focused on making sure that happens. I'm focusing without a shadow of a doubt. In fact, Shay, I wrote that down. And I want you to do me a favor, whether you text it in or not. If you are committed to telling yourself this one phrase seven times a day for the next seven days, systems beat goals every time. Systems beat goals every time. Systems beat goals every time. Then I want you to do something special because you're implementing the 4S formula. You recognize that systems plus a strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. You're, you're buying into the concept that a system is duplicatable. You can hand it to a team. A system is repeatable. So we'll focus on your selling system now, closing. You have a strategy, the evergreen revenue model. And as you're going through that, you tell yourself, you know what? I do need more resources. I do need sales. Sales solves any business problem. I must focus on my sales because I now know what a successful CEO is. A person with more cash flow, more profits and freedom to spend time doing the things that they really want to do and really desire to do at the end of the day. And I know for some of you out there, as you're, as you're tuned in and you're, you're listening to this part two of the Master Closer Playbook, and you're writing those words, this is my time, and you hit the share button and wrote, this is my time, I, I know that for you, this is your time. And I know you're ready for the breakthrough. And I'm, I'm going to share one more that I, that I just know is very important. I don't want to overwhelm some of you out there. But your best days ahead. I know it. I believe it. And I want you to know as you're listening to the sound of my voice right now that I, Shay Brown, I believe in you. And, and even if no one else believes in you right now, even if you got to put a little sticky up right now and it says, Shay Brown holds the belief for me. I want you to write that on a sticky right now. Put it on your phone. Put it on your pad. Every morning when you wake up, when you look at that note, it says, Shea Brown holds the belief for me. When you're getting dressed, Shea Brown holds the belief for me. End of the day, Shea Brown holds the belief for me. Because sometimes you need someone else to believe in you before you can believe in yourself. And, and one of the things that I know is that we'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. So the fact that you're writing that down, the fact that you believe that, the fact that you're telling yourself that, it doesn't mean you're going to do it. It just means that you're more likely to do it. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to make a breakthrough for you. That's my sign. I got to move on. But I, I, I'm feeling for some of you, you're right there. So I'm going to teach you the story close because we always leave our prospect. We are never going to push our prospect at all. Never, never, never. And we're going to tell stories because when you're talking to them, just like now, when you and I are having this conversation, your mind is drifting from here to there. What you got to do, what's up next? Maybe looking at Facebook, maybe doing duplicate things. And, and I know as your mind is drifting, when you hear a story, it's far easier to come in and it's far easier to remember. And I'm going to tell you a story of another client that was listening and it took a moment. They sent a text in to us. And it all started with just a, a broadcast like we're having right now. And then they were already in business, had been in business for over eight years, so they weren't newbies, but they, they always believed that they had the potential inside of them to perform at a higher level, and that might be you as you're listening. And we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I got to talk to this person, not my team, so I got a chance to talk to them, and I, and I shared with them this idea of getting better at telling stories right before they asked the question, how do you feel about moving forward? I know I get into how to close on our third part, but how do you feel about moving forward? And then you step back and you're done and you tell your mind it's over. There's nothing else to talk about. If they buy, they buy. If they don't, they don't. And just given to those words of encouragement and how to tell a story of another client who had a similar situation created the greatest breakthrough for this individual. Now we're talking about the story closed. We're talking about leading the prospect, never pushing. And because of that, just that one breakthrough, when I talked to her, she had three, three, not one, but three sales that she contributed that week, just that week alone, because she was in the right mindset, but more importantly, she knew exactly what to say, when to say it, how to say it, and she had a system in place because systems be goals every single time. Prior to working with me, she didn't have that distinction, and she had some of the best training, and it wasn't her fault. It had never been specifically around sales for her. Now she's trying to teach her assistant how to do some things. And that might be you right now. You're right on the edge. You're right on a breakthrough. This is your time 
this is your time. If, if that's you, before I go into the close and then we'll, we'll bring it down home stretch, but before I do that, let me, let me go ahead and, and share a way that you can stay in this conversation. You can go ahead and text the word close script. Now, you can get your browse out. doesn't cost you anything. Open up your messenger. Text the word close script. So you go right to the message section, put close script. And then go up to the area, you put your phone number in, put 202. Go ahead and do it now. Not like, like, do it now. When's the best time to do it now? It is now o'clock, okay? And type in 202-270-1662. Now, once you do that, go ahead and put your first name, because I'm requiring that. Put your last name, we're requiring that. Put your mobile number and your best email, and you will get the ultimate closing script blueprint but more importantly, you also get a one-on-one -on -one session so we can customize how this will look and feel for you or your team, or in some cases, we may be the team that you've been looking for. And, and I'm going I'm to welcome you to do that. I'm going to extend that invitation right now. Worst case scenario, you text in the word close script. Worst case scenario, you show up within the first five minutes. It's just not a good use of your time. So we part our ways. Best case scenario, I give you one idea that I shared, that other people have done, not about me, that other people have done, you implement it in your industry, cost you nothing, you get a return, and then you use that one idea for the rest of your life. So there's a lifetime benefit when you text the word close script right now. So go ahead and text the word close script to 202-270-1662, text the word close and then script, first name, last name, best contact number, and email, because systems be goals every single time. Systems be goals every single time, and you are a successful CEO. So let's talk about how stories to spend time. Let's talk about how stories act as invisible selling. Let's talk about how stories can help you lift your business to another level, because stories, well, they capture your prospect's attention. Now, you can use leading language. I'll teach that on another call. But you can use leading language like that reminds me of a client that was just like you. You can use language like, let me tell you about someone that might have been in a very similar situation you may be able to relate to. See, what we're doing there is we're capturing the prospect's attention. You've been talking for so long. You've been going back and forth. You've had questions. But this is the very, very first time you step back in. Now, stories are going to relax. Your story is bound to change the emotions of the room or the emotions of the conversation or allow them to connect with you at a much deeper level because now you're using third party endorsement, which means someone other than you. You're bringing in social proofing or third party endorsement, social proofing a third party endorsement. So someone else is bringing it to their attention while you're there, but now you've changed the whole emotion of the climate of the room. And then you wanna be brief. A brief story adds value to the relationship. Now brief is relevant. For some of you brief is less than two minutes. On average, you know, two to four minutes is a, is a long, two minutes is a good story. You can do a lot in two minutes. But it depends on the story, it depends on your clients, it depends on where you are. But you wanna be brief, you wanna add value, and you want to talk about how you solve a problem. You only tell a story for two reasons and two reasons only. Jot this down in your notes. Put this in your notes. You tell a story, number one, to bring a benefit to life. Or number two, to handle objection. You bring a benefit to life or you handle objection. Those are the two reasons why doing a sales presentation, you're not doing it to be entertaining. You're not doing it for that. You're bringing it to bring a benefit to life or, or to overcome an objection that's hidden, that might be right there, that you're not even aware of. Good storytellers are good sales closers. Stories speak to the emotional mind. Stories move people. Stories allow them to engage and be exactly where you are. I haven't met one master closer yet that has not been able to use stories. Now we're getting to the technique that I've given you the summary clothes, I've given you so many clothes, but I wanna walk you through to make sure that the story close, you're always leading, you're never pushing. You're always telling a story directly before you ask for the order. How do you feel about um, signing on, uh, hiring me as your, as your realtor? How do you feel about bringing me on as your financial planner? You're gonna tell a story because their mind had drifted. 
and you got to bring them back. And, you, and we have to make sure in the recap that we're recapturing their attention. You can use the summary close as part of the story, but we're recapturing their attention. That reminds me of a client that was just like you. I knew someone was in a similar situation. I love working with folks where they're right there and I can see what's coming for them. You're going to be yourself. You're going to be authentic because being you is beautiful. But at the end of the day, we're going to be brief. But yes, we're going to tell our story. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to do that. But now that you understand that they're good storytellers and they're good closers. And they're not trying to do it because they understand you only tell us a story for two reasons and two reasons only to overcome an objection or to bring a benefit to life. Then you can move, <coughs> excuse me, and you get to move to what I call one of the best parts, which is stories drive home the closing points. Here's what I want you to know. Show that to them, please. Here's what I want you to know. The characters in your story will do the selling for you. Now, we do a whole other section on storytelling, story selling, but the stories, the characters will do the story for you. In many cases, the characters had the exact same objections. In many cases, the characters were just like them. In many cases, the, the characters were in a similar situation. And you're sharing stories of folks that are just like them. Put this in your notes. This is very important. People like people that are just like them. Put that in your notes. People like people that are just like them. And isn't that important? Isn't that what it's all about at the end of the day? Yeah. Let me take a, a moment to just share with you how for some of you, we are the sales team you've been looking for. So we'll take about a, a two minute break and we come back. Uh, when we do that, I'm going to probably go right into one of the most requested areas, which is the objection close. So you understand how to handle that. But we'll be back in uh, less than two minutes. We're gonna go over and talk about how we are the sales team you've been looking for. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. And if you're like a number of my clients right now, where you are sick and tired of talking to unqualified people who don't want to do business with you or you're tired of tracking down people and trying to convince them and persuade them to do business with you and you're just wasting your time or you're just totally frustrated and it's time for you to increase your sales then we are the sales team that you've been looking for you see the number one challenge facing entrepreneurs today is either lost leads that means they met someone someone opted on their page someone signed up on their webinar uh, someone said they were interested and no one could follow up with them no one could track them down and you had to do it all yourself or you spend a lot of time talking to someone you spend a lot of time sending them information only to find out they were unqualified you're like i'm sick of talking to unqualified people so if you don't want to sell or you hate to sell because you want to do something else with your time something else with your labor like spend it with those that you love the most or doing something entirely different then i want you to pay close attention i want you to text this number because we're going to partner with you in two ways first we're going to look at doing a complete sales makeover for you okay that's number one and then number two we're going to set all the qualified appointments you need without your labor so you can make sure things get done and or and or we're gonna have a dedicated sales team to go out and actually make the sale get the credit card get the contract and bring it out we are the sales team that you've been looking for so it's just time for you to do a sales makeover it's time for you to look at your whole sales process and have a structure a system a sequence so you can be scalable and you can really generate those sales here's what i want you to do for your sales makeover text the word makeover do it right now open up your 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 phone right now text the word make over one word make over to 202 999 3515 let me get that to you again text the word makeover so you can look at your business to 202 999 3515 and just follow the instructions so all you gotta do is follow the instructions and let's make over your business my name is shay brown the happy entrepreneur make it a great day everyone and we're gonna make some good things happen we connect again next time god bless and i'll see you on the other side all right, so here's what we've done. We've, we've had a recap today, walking through part two of the Master Closer Playbook. Um, I wanna encourage you as you're listening right now, and if 
if you haven't stepped back in a while and had a review of your of your script, uh, of your closing script and, and how you're going out, or you just need to take a look at your whole revenue process, it's time for something to change. It's just time for something to change for you, for where you are in your business. And it might be that time for sales because you need to bring in the resources. I don't have to convince you of that, but it's, it's that time to purchase more resources and you wanna have the cash flow. You wanna have the profits to do that. I'm gonna encourage you to reach out to us. Uh, send us a text right now, send us a text over to 202-270-1662. Um, and write the word close script. Let us get you the ultimate closing blueprint. Let me have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you to kind of talk about how to customize what you've heard or what you've been taught for you, for your industry, for where you are, so you can have that breakthrough. This is your time. But for that breakthrough to occur, something has to change. And I'm going to encourage you to work on the one skill that I know with 100% certainty will make a difference for you because systems be goals every single time. So look at your closing systems, look at your closing scripts as part of your systems, your closing sequence as part of your system, your, your closing strategy, that's part of your system. And let's do that together again. So you would just text the word close script to 202-270-1662. Please, please include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number and your email. And I'm looking forward to having that conversation with you because we're the team you've been looking for. This is truly your time. Um, what we'll do is we'll stop here. This is a good stopping point. And when we get together next time, um, next week, we'll work on part three of the Master Closer Playbook. I want you to know as you're listening right now that you're, you're really amazing. Um, the fact that you showed up means you're a winner. It shows that you're a champion. It shows that you have so much greatness inside you. And it shows that for you, the best is still yet to come. The best is still yet to come. The best is yet to come. Why? Because today is your January 1st. You're going to practice code of entrepreneurship. Today is your January 1st. You are a successful CEO. Today is your January 1st. There's more cash flow coming in because you're serving more people. Today is your January 1st. There's more profits. You spend less than you make. Today is your January 1st because you made a declaration that I am a successful CEO and I recognize that systems be goals every single time. With that being said, I want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. For those folks that are hearing my name for the very first time, by the way, my name, by the way, is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you success. See you soon. Today is your January 1st. I believe in you. Bye-bye for now. I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shea Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, win, no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can never Man. get enough. Man. And every time I step Man. up in the building, yeah. everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.